Um, thank you. Thanks, Naomi. So um, I'm following on a little bit from Naomi, Naomi's talk and talking about actual implementation theory. Um, so my name is Shobi and I work as a clinical researcher in the Health Systems Collaborative Group here in Oxford. Um, and I was just going to explain a little bit about a theory that I've been using, which is called normalization process theory. So um, in the field of implementation science, where we're thinking about translating evidence-based interventions into real world settings, one of the ways that we can actually uh, facilitate that process is through the use of theories and frameworks and models. And one such theory is normalization process theory or NPT. And what makes it slightly different to frameworks and models is that it's actually based on empirical data, which helps to um, explain what's being observed in, in these studies. And it can also be used to predict implementation outcomes. And NPT is a mid-range theory, um, which has been really used to understand how implementation um, comes to be and actually how complex interventions come to be embedded and routinized into day-to-day -day work of people in a health system. Um, this is a great paper for anyone that's interested in this. It's by Nielsen from 2015. Um, so I'd encourage you to look at that if you're interested in learning more about this. Um, NPT really at the heart of it um, actually recognizes that health systems are really complex systems with lots of different actors within that system working individually and in teams. And also um, that there's quite complex and dynamic relationships between these people and the wider social system. And so it really tries to address if we're introducing an innovation or a complex intervention such as a technology into this complex system, how does that then get implemented by the people within that system? How does it come to be embedded and integrated? And one of the ways that we can think about this is to think about, for example, during the pandemic, how we've come to implement MS Team, Microsoft Teams and Zoom into our daily lives so much to the extent that it's now become embedded and integrated into our ways of working. Um, NPT actually thinks about complex interventions within a health system um, from one particular standpoint. So when we're actually thinking about implementing an intervention, um, it often involves um, people having certain feelings, beliefs and attitudes to that intervention. And then they have the intention then to use the intervention or enact the intervention. And then this leads to an action being taken and the work actually to, to deliver the intervention being done. And NPT focuses on that last aspect, which is the actions that people take. Um, and it's not about how people feel towards the intervention or what they intend to do, but what do they actually do? And it looks at both individual actors within the health system and also the collective actions of people within the health system as well. So it's really a theory of action. And it looks at activity on three different levels of, um, of activity. At the micro level, it can look at how people in a health system actually use the complex intervention to operationalize um, it in their day-to-day -day work. At the meso level, how people work together to achieve the goal of implementation. And at the macro level, it looks at the wider social context in which that intervention functions. And within all these levels, um, it focuses on four key mechanisms through which an intervention can be um, Im Im implemented and um, embedded into a health system. And these are the four key constructs of normalization process theory, which are around coherence, which is how people make sense of the intervention. So um, whether they understand how it differs from previous ways of working and they understand the value of it. And once they have that sense of why they're being asked to deliver this intervention, then they can actually start participating in the intervention to engage with each other. And the relationships between um, different individuals in the health system might change as a, as a result of that. And then thinking about how they operationalize the intervention is um, actually thinking about how they might actually divide labor and resources between different people within the health system and take collective action around the intervention. And then finally, how they might appraise and reflect upon the intervention. And based on that, often they decide whether or not to continuously engage with it or um, to actually leave it be. Um, so this recognizes that these four key constructs are actually central to anything being implemented. But in order to actually embed the intervention into routine practice and integrate it, it requires constant commitment of those people in the health system to keep, um, keep delivering the intervention. 
So NPT can be used to support intervention design um, in order to understand the context. So it can actually feed into that human centered design approach as well. It can be used in the process evaluation of trials um, to explain implementation as part of implementation trials or um, randomized controlled trials as well. And it can also be used in systematic reviews to actually review um, different types of studies. And most commonly um, the four constructs can be used um, as a framework um, to, to do an analysis of qualitative data, but also um, as, as, a, as an option of doing a theory-led analysis using both deductive and inductive ele elements as well. So um, I used um, NPT in the context of a, um, of a study in um, rural India in two very diverse states in India. Um, and this was a complex health system. It, worked with high-risk pregnant women in the uh, in the villages as well as their families community health workers primary care doctors at the um, primary health center and also obstetricians so this was a very complex dynamic environment across two different states in india and um this was part of my defo um work so um I designed and developed a um, complex intervention, went on to pilot that in a cluster randomized control trial of 200 pregnant women. And I used NPT as part of the process evaluation of the study. The intervention in itself was really complex because it had multiple components and it involved actually training community health workers called ASHAs to um, learn new skills such as point of care testing for hemoglobin and blood pressure, and also um, involved a technology component where the ASHAs were provided with mobile clinical decision support um, to be able to do these tests at home in the home environment and screen and refer and counsel women in their homes. And this was across three different time points during a woman's um, uh, antenatal and postnatal care. Um, so with this complex intervention, I then looked at um, in, in the process evaluation how it was implemented using NPT. And actually, NPT helped to explain how the ASHAs um, understood the differences between their previous ways of working, where they were really just doing home visits and just checking in on women, to, to now doing um, actual point of care testing at home and being able to give counselling and advice. And also, it changed the relationships between the ASHAs and um, the other healthcare workers, but also with the community. So at the beginning of the study, um, people in the community um, didn't feel that ASHAs had the legitimacy to actually do these tests because they weren't, um, they only had a secondary school education. Um, but by the end of the study, they'd really uh, achieved quite a lot of social and professional recognition from um, the community and their peers. And so um, the relationships between different healthcare providers started to change as well. Um, and in terms of how they actually delivered the intervention, they had to renegotiate their roles with other community health workers known as ANMs. And so um, the hierarchical structure of the health um, system between these different cadres of healthcare workers actually started to flatten um, in terms of professional hierarchies. And there was a renegotiation of roles. And then a really interesting thing was that they actually started to reflect upon what they did and form peer groups. Um, so they were able to support themselves and actually did home visits together and problem solve together. And as a result of all of this, they integrated the intervention into their day to day work and they didn't feel it was a big a big obligation because they got quite a lot of trade off in terms of social and professional recognition from this. So that's how um, it explains some of the ways in which it was implemented and um, integrated. So NPT, um, I thought, was a really good theory for this because it actually helped to explain a lot of the micro, meso and macro level factors that contributed to the normalization of this intervention. It did also explain some of the changes in organizational culture within the health system, and it explained a lot of the um, factors involved in the acceptability of the intervention. Um, it also helped me to understand the actual work that was done by ASHAs and the other um, healthcare workers within the health system and how this actually came to be routinized into their day to day lives. So I felt it was it was a good fit for this type of um, type of study. So thank you very much. And if there's any questions, please ask.